This is Sky Poncho with the weekly Pele report. Whoosh! Finally made it out here to Koh Phangan, the sanctuary. It's an island off the coast of Thailand, but uh, there was a big storm, like the biggest storm in 20 years. 15, 20 years or something. So I got stranded on the other island <laughs> for a couple of nights. I don't know when this report's gonna go up because it could be a little while before we get internet or whatever, but lots of flooding, a lot of people, you know, very in tough, tough, tough shape with that big storm coming in here anyway. December 7th, of course, the moon in Pisces uh, conjunct the south node in Neptune, bringing chaos. Yeah, into so many people's lives. So, thank God it's gonna be getting out of there tomorrow. The moon moves into Aries. Yeah, and then on Saturday, she moves into Taurus. Monday, into Gemini. Until finally, we got that full moon coming. Yeah, on Tuesday, 22, 23 degrees of Gemini. So, other than that, and what I want to be talking to you about today is, of course, right now, I mean, like, as I'm speaking, as the boat landed me on that beach, okay, right down there, hello, that beach right there, <laughs> I pulled out my phone, and the Venus is at zero, 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 zero Aquarius. Mars is up there at 21. So we've got both Venus and Mars moving through beautiful Aquarius. We've still got Jupiter squaring Pluto, coming tighter and tighter into an opposition with Uranus. That's going on. But the good news complementing that, of course, is Saturn is up there trining Uranus, sextiling Jupiter. So this is all like really, I don't know. I got a lot to talk about here today. If that wasn't enough, by Saturday, the sun is in an exact conjunction with Saturn, which of course we know is trine Uranus sextile Jupiter, super cool. And if that wasn't enough, Mercury is trine the North Node. So let me just find a nice place to sit down and chat with you about all of this. Okay, everybody. What is going on? I know what's going on out there. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see you in the midst of madness. <laughs> yeah, this is chaos time, that's for sure. A lot of unexpected surprises, jolts, messages, things going haywire, cuckoo, yeah. But this is, a, this is a very powerful time. It's a very good time, and I'd like to explain why, <laughs> okay? Uh, and I want to do a whole uh, more extensive uh, video for all of 2017, but very briefly today, I just want to say that we have this, uh, f it's an optical phenomenon, okay? You know, it's actually an optical illusion that planets go retrograde like they go backwards. And right now we are in this process of Jupiter, okay, moving forward, Saturn moving forward, crossing new territory, okay, making new fresh aspects. Jupiter, first time in 12 years, Saturn, first time in 28 years, it's been around to these locations within the zodiac, okay. In February, Jupiter goes retrograde until June back over the same old same old in april okay saturn goes retrograde up to 727 degrees then it comes back 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 until august okay then after august jupiter and saturn are both moving forward again okay into september and october okay and this is kind of a yearly thing I, we talk about it all the time but i want to explain it about it a little, little bit more because you know, I like to explain it that when a planet is going direct, crossing new territory, 
Jupiter just coming into square Pluto, Jupiter just coming into oppose Uranus. Jupiter Uranus is fantastic sudden ideas, okay? New friendships, new acquaintances, new social initiatives, okay? You know, and, and Jupiter squaring that Pluto, okay? I mean, I've just been checking out WikiLeaks, okay, you know? And it's just like the Disclosure Project and like all this stuff. You know, it's just like coming up and surfacing, okay, how, you know, there's been so much hidden, you know, things going on, okay, hidden from, you know, so many people for so long. And this Jupiter Uranus, particularly now Saturn in Sagittarius calling for truth, trining this Uranus, shocking truth, sudden truth, like it or not truth, okay, but also out of this truth okay now we've got venus and mars both in aquarius which is the future future purpose future planning future initiatives time to invent and innovate and reinvent ourselves uranus and aries so what happens is and the way i explain this yeah you get a new vision this is a time for new visions planning out next year, planning out your future, planning out what you want to bring into your life, who you want to bring into your life, where you want to go with your life, what your purpose is in living your freaking life. <laughs> then, then, Jupiter goes retrograde, Saturn goes retrograde. Oh yeah, so it's like envisioning, okay, okay, I got a room full of furniture, my living room's full of furniture, but I want a new couch. Envision now, new couch, in living room, boom. When the planets go retrograde, okay, the living room is your life. <laughs> the couch is something new in your life. They go retrograde, it's time to rearrange the living room. Rearrange your life, yeah? Maybe you need to vacuum. You need to get rid of the old couch, okay? Maybe you want to paint the walls, <laughs> you know, clean the floor, shine up the windows before you get your new couch. Get your whole life ready for your new couch. <laughs> this is while the planets are retrograde, okay? Redo, rethink, re-envision, reflect, internalize this energy. So now's the time making new friends, new ideas, new groups, invent, and then, okay, then, you know, next February, March, April, May, June, it's time to, okay, wow, if I, you know, if I want to do that, I've got to cut out that, I got to save my money from that, I got to stop spending on that, I got to, you know, you know, spend more time with this person, less time with that person, I got to, you know, quit this job and get another job, I mean, now's the time to, like, you know, really have the vision, and then you're going to have this time period of changing everything around so that you can go forward. And then, done properly, <laughs> by next August, September, okay, boom, September, October. It's like a nine-month pregnancy. So now is time to impregnate, impregnate your mind. Open your crown chakra to spirit. <sighs> Get that vision. Impregnate your life. Fertilize yourself, yeah? Fertilize your life. And, and really, you know, make the connections. This is what Aquarius is all about. New communities, new people. Reach out. I mean, and yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, people tell me I need to advertise more. You know, I'm doing this whole astrology convention in Costa Rica next May. When the nodes go into Leo Aquarius, yeah. Hundreds of people getting together here, new paradigmers. That, you know, this is this is the time. You know, start your own groups, do your own thing, yeah. But make it unconventional, initiative, eccentric, outside the normal, and make it with new people. So, then goes retrograde. You change everything. Then next, you know, next uh, September, October. It goes direct and it all comes together and manifests itself. Now that's the big picture. The other thing that I want to talk about this a little bit here, you know, is of course this opposition between Jupiter and Uranus. 
okay? Jupiter says, more relationship time, more time with my partner. I expand and I evolve and, you know, new partnerships, business and romantic are showing me myself and mirroring myself. And so I want to like be, you know, going out doing more of that. Uranus and Aries says, I want freedom. I want independence. I want to do my own thing in my own time, in my own way. I want to reinvent myself and I need like space, space. Yeah, and I want to kind of maybe stick my head inside the sand, like an ostrich or something, you know, and just like, shoo, look away, look away, start something new alone. And then Pluto up there in Capricorn is saying, you've got duties and you've got responsibilities and you don't have time for a relationship or time to spend alone. <laughs> So this is like the threefold rip roaring crap that's going on this year. It's this struggle between, you know, partnership calling, looking real good, but then like new great brilliant ideas that I have to start something, you know, myself or my own and go off, you know, in my own world. And then, oh my God, you know, the pressure is on. A lot of people are expecting a lot of things out of me. So we've got this whole T-square happening, okay, this whole year. And now, you know, the moon's gonna come around, you know, and it's gonna go through, uh, like I say, Aries, it's gonna hit Uranus. So like this week, you may desire to just like break free and break out. Finally, when it comes around to Gemini, Gemini opposite, yeah, the moon, the sun and Saturn, okay. This is like, I mean, let's look at sun Saturn. This is serious, you know, like what I'm talking about. I mean, smile a lot and everything, but this is serious. You know, if you don't like find some kind of deeper purpose for your existence and for your life, some social initiative, some spiritually inspired dream to live, okay, yeah, you know, you're gonna spiral down the, the, the web of depression on Facebook. I just posted a, a great article on depression by Charles Eisenstein, yeah, very powerful. Depression is I'm unplugging from a world that is like screwy. Only the doctors and everybody tells me that it's the world is fine and I'm screwy. So they give me pills. <laughs> when actually unplugging is like a super natural, normal part of this process and boom, gotta, you gotta do that to go forward. So. You know, now we go forward and then you got to unplug, cut those cords from the past. Okay. Next February, March, April, May, June, so that you can go forward. Yeah. So yeah, this week it's, you know, it's very exciting. The only thing I can say is try to stay balanced and not get too upset over the revelations that are going to be pouring out of the media, pouring out of the internet, maybe pouring out of your partner's mouth, <laughs> okay, you know, about this is the truth and this is reality and oh my God, you've been, you know, in this illusion and deceiving yourself or avoiding that or ignoring that or lying about that. This is like, you know, it's almost like somebody is pouring truth serum down here on planet earth you know it's time to hear the truth tell the truth speak the truth <laughs> you know wow so yeah so the mantra has to do with this venus and mars in aquarius now and jupiter in libra you know where we are each we are our brothers and sisters keepers yeah for sure you know, that's what the community is about. That's what Aquarius is about. If by chance I lose my way, but sincerely desire to grow, spirit will surely bring to me brothers and sisters who know this is a time of reaching out, of realizing our oneness, our unity, our connection with each other, helping each other, having compassion, forgiveness, 
understanding for our partners and for our friends, maybe letting some friends go and making new friends, but getting really excited, you know, about building a social network and a social system, yeah, and a culture, yeah, that really supports diversity and unity simultaneously. <laughs> it's not a time to be doing, okay, too much. Me, 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 I, 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 I. This is a big danger, big danger. Red flag, red flag. When you got, you know, like people, ah, pfft, detaching. Detaching is the downside of Aquarius. Non-attachment is the upside, yeah? Detaching is running away and hiding and I'm ignoring and I'm going to do my own thing. Non-attachment is I'm not trying to get anything specific. I'm just trying to learn grow and connect. This is Jupiter in Libra with Venus and Mars in Aquarius. So I really, you know, I encourage you to find groups, make groups. I've got a whole friends page, pages and pages, okay, of amazing people doing amazing things, you know, for the future, about the future. And it's time for us to hook up with each other, connect with each other. I even joined Instagram. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what next man the technology it's awesome that's Aquarius too so anyway enough is enough is enough is enough and this is enough for today what is it now if by chance I lose my way but sincerely desire to grow spirit will surely bring to me brothers and sisters who know let's all lend a hand with each other reach out to each other hold each other grow together namaste aloha so much love <laughs>